Planning another in light. Adam and is in the studio here at KROQ 106.7. Um, we were just talking uh, off uh, mic there about films, etc. Because we did the <laughs> the world famous spellcaster that never yeah. came out. Yeah, we did yeah. a movie. Maybe yeah. if we don't talk about it, it won't come out ever. But never mind. <laughs> no, you've done uh, a number of movies and uh, television projects. I mean, of course, uh, you did Spielberg's Amazing Stories, mm -hmm. and uh, I mean, you've did most recently Trust Me. Yeah, that was yeah, that was the movie came out in November I and think, yeah, world gone it. wild in which you annihilate most of the surviving yeah. population of North America yeah I keep seeing them on cable and it's um it's funny like I pass two in the morning you just see I see myself uh, doing these horrible things to people it's quite disturbing really but um that's gone very well I'm at a point now where I, I feel comfortable to um you know put that on hold and deal with this record and, and put 100% into the record because I think now I've set a platform for myself to um act because i take it you know seriously and i know what i want to do so you can actually uh, you've done enough now where you can take a break from it and mm -hmm. then uh, go back to it maybe in a year 18 months whenever you feel comfortable i'll right? probably go back to it before that i mean with there's a project that we're thinking about doing in the middle of the year and i'm also uh, involved in uh, writing a script for myself which would be quite fun to do one day great yeah so you know i do just leave all the doors open and go for it but you know acting is but i've i've had a load of work considering that i'm i'm a singer and uh, <laughs> when i first went in you know people have no concept of what you want to do so you must get like two scripts a month at least in which it says uh camera pans down and adamant is singing initially it was <laughs> like that but none of the roles i took involved singing um except in slam dance where i sang a, a, a nat king cole song in the bath but that was edited out, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to play a cut for Manners and Physique. Your choice. Okay. My choice? What would I have next? Uh, ooh. There you go. Uh, yeah, I know my record so well. I don't we know are, of course, going to play Room at the Top later. So you I don't, don't know what's on that. it here. Yeah, I'd like... Um, oh, let me have a look. Yeah, lovely. Young, Dumb and Full of It. Why not? Young, Dumb and Full of It. A number yeah. of women that we both know. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh. I did not say that, ladies and gentlemen. K-Rock. <laughs> Again, we were talking off mic, Adam Ant in studio here at K-Rock, and uh, Adam was saying how pleased you are that it, it is here. It's happening oh, right yeah, now. Oh, yeah, it's happening yeah. now. I mean, you know, today means a lot to me because, you know, you, you guys have been playing my, my songs through a very, um, you know, when you're not around for four years to kind of say, this is what I'm doing. It's great to know that... A station stayed on it and and were you know it's beyond loyalty it's a great compliment to any artist but it's great it to be here today because it's really the first time that they've been played and um and that that's what i wanted to do for these four years i'm glad we're doing it now you spend a lot of your time in los angeles how do you feel when you're driving around and you listen to k-rock and you hear one of the older songs come on does that make <laughs> you flash back to that particular time uh, i mean because anytime we do like the flashback weekends i mean every fifth yeah. song is like adam uh I swerve, that's the first thing, <laughs> sort of swerve. Um, no, it's great, you know, it's brilliant, because I don't listen to my own, my own work. I mean, I haven't, these, these songs now for this album, I haven't listened to this album, the new album, since, really, we finished recording it. I don't go home and listen to my own record, so when I hear them, I think, oh, yeah, that worked. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, you can hear the bass on that one, you know, because that's what it's about, you know, and uh, it's, it's just a great, you know, it's always gives me a kick i love it so now is the like the promotion uh, leg of of adam ant and manners and physique the new album mm -hmm. um what what would be a typical day for you like uh, yeah um they always start real early um if i'm the interviews usually begin at maybe 10 o'clock and there may be a couple of phones before that and because i've been here i've been having to make calls i made a call the other morning at um seven o'clock in the morning to the bbc in london and then began a day uh, you know, I'll get up maybe two hours before, get ready, choose what to wear. That takes the most time. <coughs> <laughs> what am I going to wear today? Let's have a look there. <laughs> and um, then going out and, and, and really being alert. And after a couple of cappuccinos, I'm usually awake by about half past 11. Um, <laughs> and it's all right. You know, I, I, I enjoy doing interviews because, you know, if you haven't done them for a while, you don't get bored. You know, it's like you've got a lot to say. And it's cool. I enjoy it. Now you've been, um, and it's a cliche word, but you've been a rock star now, even though you've you took off for a few years for more than ten years. Mm -hmm. Did you think when you first got into it in the late seventies, and there was the whole ant invasion thing and that, mm -hmm. that it would last this long? Because I remember growing up in England, everyone says, "Oh, you don't want to go into rock music because here today, gone tomorrow, you'll be like the Rubettes. That's it." 
Yeah, well, I remember all, all the, one of the questions used to come up, especially when we first came to the States and that, you know, with the hit records. Um, what, do you, what will you be doing in 10 years' time? Well, it's 10 years later and uh, I'm <laughs> doing the same that I was doing then. Uh, making music and doing it, you know, that's what I do instinctively. And uh, I enjoy doing it, and all the while I can do it, I'll do it. Um, only with me, you know, phys physically, you know, when it comes to touring and performing, which I love doing, uh, there are restrictions on that, and then you have to modify yourself. But, hey, uh, I'm glad I said then that I think I'll still be doing it. I'm glad I am. Are you amazed at how many of your contemporaries are still making music? I mean, for example, Billy Idol, who just got hurt yesterday, but he's going to be all right, was yeah, huh, finishing huh. up a new album. Uh -huh. Duran Duran are going back and uh, uh -huh. finishing up a new album. All these yeah. bands that came out at the same time as you. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Kevin Rowland's getting, he's writing a new album at the moment, and uh, Brian Setz is a good friend of mine, and we did some work together, and he's, you know, he's doing well as well as Stray Cats. Right. Uh, I don't know, you, if you're good and the public like you, I don't see any reason why, as long as you're producing work, they shouldn't like you again. Um, I think it's a bit of a played-out idea, actually, the idea that, you know, it's all got to happen in a few weeks. Well, there are certain acts or certain, you know, records that are geared to that, um, but the 80s generation were a collection of artists that were responsible for their own music, their own songs, their own lyrics in, in, in the major cases. And uh, it's, your, it, it's more than just a... It's not a job. It's more than work. It's your life. It's what you love doing. It's not a job. It's an adventure, right? Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. we're going to take a couple of quick calls here.